The time between episodes three and four is an incredibly fertile time, and George encouraged us to develop new characters to tell new stories. Characters at the heart of everything George has done with Star Wars, and it's certainly at the heart of The Force Unleashed. The main character in The Force Unleashed is this character of Darth Vader's secret apprentice. He's almost this primal character that has these incredible force powers and uses them in highly destructive means. That's how he's been trained by Darth Vader. No Jedi in history has ever used the force in the way that this guy uses the force. Vader has sort of experimented with this kid to see how far you could take it. And he's taking it to the limit. He's taking it as far as it can go. He's a force wrecking ball. He's unstoppable. George was very big on make sure you have a love interest, make sure you have a Jedi mentor, make sure you have a comic sidekick. Hayden worked really hard in coming up with new and unique characters that also fit very familiar archetypes within the Star Wars universe. The cast for Star Wars The Force Unleashed is composed of what we call the Big Five. There's the Secret Apprentice, and that's the character you play in the game. You will never convince me to betray my master. Then there's Juno Eclipse, who's the love interest, and she's a very proper Imperial pilot who ferries the apprentice around the galaxy. My orders are clear. I'll keep your ship running and take you wherever your missions require. There's General Coda, who is a hard-boiled Jedi master that kind of develops a relationship with the apprentice and becomes the apprentice's kind of new mentor figure. Months of attacking Imperial targets and Vader sends a boy to fight me. There's Proxy, who's the droid sidekick, and he brings some comedy to the story. And then, of course, there's Darth Vader, who is the apprentice's master, and it's his plot and his schemes that are propelling a lot of the story forward. We had many, many conversations with George Lucas about Darth Vader and what is going on in his mind and his heart during this time period. I I'm your father. The relationship between Vader and the Apprentice is definitely, absolutely father and son. We sort of decided that the Apprentice is kind of like a dark Luke Skywalker. Join me. This is what would have happened to Luke Skywalker had he joined Vader. With our combined strength. This is how Luke would have been trained. This is what, what Luke would have been like. I'll never join you! Vader's a horrible father figure. He can't be a good father. His goals are, are so at odds with nurturing somebody. He wants to drive this kid to the dark side. And so Vader's been torturing this kid from an, from an early age. And in terms of this kid's morality, you know, he doesn't know which way is up. We knew that the character was going to have had a hard existence, a hard childhood and, and adolescence, that he wasn't going to be able to relate well to other people outside of Vader and, and kind of his droid sidekick. So when he first starts interacting with Juno, for example, the apprentice has no idea how to handle it. Captain Juno Eclipse, born on Coralag, where she became the youngest student ever accepted into the Imperial Academy. When the apprentice first bumps into Juno, when he first meets her, there's kind of a, a fun playground dynamic where he's taking Proxy aside. He's like, who's that? Like, what? Oh my God, don't tell her that I like her. Shh. Here, pass this note. <clears throat> Is there a psychological profile in there too? When developing The Secret Apprentice, we really wanted to look at a character that the player could inhabit, a, a character that had a, a personality that was somebody that you wanted to be, that you aspired to, to be in the game. So we really wanted to advance the technology of storytelling and character development through character performances. So we have true character performances in our game using full-on image capture and motion capture technologies that were pioneered at Industrial Light and Magic. So we really had to cast an actor that could act not just using their voice, but also with their face. We're in this room, we're surrounded by these cameras. At first, and I was really scared that they were just gonna sit you down in a chair and be like, okay, we're gonna put dots in your face. Okay, now act. We have uh, all these little tiny reflective white spheres um, on the face in different positions. And those cameras know exactly where every one of those little dots lives in that 3D space. And when they turn or they change position, the camera tracks that information. And that way we know exactly how a character's moving and we have all that data. Was that okay for... <laughs> it's like acting from the, from the shoulders up and you're trying to give all of this drama to it and you're, and you're basically shooting it just like you would a film. One of the many things that really sets us apart is our collaboration with ILM. ILM has a suite of tools and technologies that they call the Clone Cam, which enabled them to capture 3D data at a fidelity higher than anyone else. 
we're leveraging that expertise, we're actually using those tools, we're using that facility to generate all this data. And when we have that, the quality bar goes through the roof. There are things that we've never really seen before in a game from kind of a, a character performance standpoint, and I think that's just gonna draw players in. The only, the only note from that scene was the, what is your bidding, my master, is just the, we talked about this last time too, just putting a little more venom on that. On my on master? That. Yeah, on the my master okay. part. What we tried to do is tell a story that helps close some of those gaps between episodes three and four. Particularly with The Force Unleashed, the character arc is incredibly strong because the theme of The Force Unleashed is redemption. And in fact, the place that they end up makes these characters so pivotal in the Star Wars saga that once you place these characters between the first trilogy and the second trilogy, you can't imagine Star Wars ever again without them. You have done well, my apprentice.